Hello and welcome to this video. We're taking a look again here today at multicharts.net, the starter edition of multicharts, which is absolutely free if you want to use that and download that. So what we're going to talk about today is uh, another order entry type that you can use within multicharts to kind of de de uh, deploy your entry strategy. So this, uh, what we're going to talk about today is a fade strategy. So last time we looked at a breakout uh, strategy and how we could quickly do that. We can do the same thing with a fade strategy. So uh, before we get too in depth here, let's go ahead and bring up the dome window, the depth of market screen by going to file. We're going to go to new and we're going to use the dome window option here. You can see that there's also a keyboard combination, control, alt, insert if you prefer, you want to memorize that. I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up now. And so we have that here. I'm just going to minimize the rest of multi charts here so we can focus on the dome. You see that it is a free floating window. It's not attached within uh, multi charts, uh, the actual uh, platform itself uh, by default, um, uh, unlike charts. So just kind of keep that in mind here that you have that flexibility. So we're taking a look here at the depth of market screen, uh, just at the ES here as an example, you can see. Um, now, last time we did talk about these breakout orders, and in a breakout situation, you're looking for the market to break out to one side, but you're not necessarily sure which way the market is going to break out. So you can set up that breakout strategy so that it will go long if it breaks out to the upside and go short if it breaks out to the downside. What we're going to talk about today is a fade strategy, which is the opposite of a breakout strategy. This is when you don't expect the market to break out, you expect it to actually continue within its range. So. Uh, with the opposite idea in mind here, we kind of uh, we would look to get into the market when the market is at the top of its range. We would go uh, short. When it's at the bottom of its range, we would go long. So the way we do that here is we actually have that automatically set up here as a fade strategy. So you see there is an option here for a fade. So if we go ahead and just drag that on here, you'll see that we can actually uh, adjust kind of the interval um, that it starts with off by default. So by default, it is 10 ticks uh, to both sides. Those are independent, though, so keep that in mind. You can adjust those. So if I were to place this strategy here, we're going to see now the fade uh, strategy. So just to visualize this even further, if the market were to head up here to this 1635 and a quarter area, it would go short. If the market were going to uh, go down here, down to the 1630 uh, and a half area here, it would go long because I think it's going to stay within this range here. Uh, if you were using this fade strategy. So just another type of uh, order entry strategy that we can use here. Now, just some more things about the dome here. Um, since these are OCO orders that are deployed, uh, when one is canceled, the other is going to be canceled. So just keep that in mind with your uh, fade strategies. If you do place it using this method here, um, and you decided, you know what, I only want to look to go short, so I'm going to cancel this order, it is going to cancel the other one as well. So just one more detail uh, to kind of keep in mind there. Now, just like in the last uh, video here, we looked at the breakout situation, we also wanted to add in an exit strategy. So we can do the same thing. So if I wanted to do, do just a regular uh, default exit strategy here with bracket orders, meaning a profit target, a stop loss, if it were to get into the market, just right mouse click here and select auto attach as exit strategy. Now, if I were to place this fade order here, it's going to not only uh, be able to get uh, short if the market were to come up to this price level or get long if the market were to come down to this price level, but when it uh, does enter into the market, it's actually going to attach those bracket orders, so the profit target and the stop loss there so that your position is protected. Uh, so just another layer there to automate and make a little bit easier here. Now we only looked at the regular bracket orders here option. Uh, also wanted to just go a little bit further here in the exit strategy section. So if we take a look, we have things like break even strategies, and we also have uh, the option to just use a stop loss, or even just use a profit target if we wanted to do those individually, not necessarily using these bracket orders. So uh, just to kind of um, illustrate that, we're going to go ahead and auto attach the stop loss. So this is just a stop loss. And then we'll use the uh, fade uh, option here. Place the strategy. So now what you'll see is uh, if we were to scroll uh, through the dome here, what you would notice is that we would have a stop loss, but there's not another corresponding order to that. Uh, it's just the uh, stop loss that would be deployed, no profit target. Maybe in that case, you might want to manage it manually uh, or something similar. So that option is there as well, um, just to be able to vary your exit strategies. 
So thank you for viewing this video here. We did take a look here at those fade strategies, how to deploy those, and also how to attach those exit strategies. So you have that there. Uh, we're gonna look at some more of these advanced exit strategies in, in some more videos here. We have things like break even and trailing stops that we can use as well, so keep that in mind, as well as uh, kind of a mixture of these last two subjects here, the breakout strategy and the fade. You can actually use those together uh, in a sense with some of these orders that are pre-configured. If you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free free to visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com or give us a call.